hi guys and welcome to 2022 wow one was something right i did not really like that yeah but i guess it's because i'm an ingrid so i haven't really taken into cognizance the great things that happened to me last year one of which is like starting this channel and meeting and like interacting with you guys and it has been so nice especially when you guys leave comments telling me how much you like my content or come to my social media and tell me oh wow i this really spoke to me on those stuff that is why i keep creating but i'm sorry i stopped creating for a while if you're a returning subscriber you know that i'm supposed to be posting videos on thursdays and sundays but this whole new year christmas period was just too much fun and i just wanted to rest so i couldn't bring myself to putting out the video but yeah i'm back i'm back i'm going to try to get back on schedule if you're new here welcome welcome it's only up this video is down so from here it's going to be higher so you might want to like subscribe the first one is everything is neutral and i don't know if you guys know about yin and yang but it's basically that mentality that um the world is dualistic but actually most things are just neutral and we are the ones who give it value judgments it's our perceptions that make them bad or good because like they are normally sides of the same coin that's what I, I i understand it as for instance being stubborn a person that is stubborn would also likely be steadfast that is they'll persevere in whatever they strive for and that is the good quality but when people are criticizing them they'll criticize the stubbornness like you can't have one without the other so most times the bad things actually are essential to the good things existing and vice versa so i have learned to view life in a less like dualistic lens realizing that everything is one and everything is neutral and so um let's try and see the good in everything but <laughs> i was trying to i am stuck at a point like what is the good to see in being bored alive like in the, like i know i'm being really i've carried the talk to a dark place but sometimes i just take it to the worst case scenario but i am sure that there is a case to be made but at the moment when you are being burnt alive or boiled or whatever what is the good there so if you want to settle it my comments are there let's argue what is the positive side of being burnt alive the second thing i learned um, in 2021 was also something i picked up i started really thinking about in 2020 with the whole black lives matter covid and all of that and i was just thinking about how fucked up the society and the world systems are and how people were protesting and trying to change things and looking back on history and seeing that this we have passed through all these things before and we tried to change things but it just seems like it's not really getting that much better it's just i can't really um express it right now but if you if you look at the world and the politics and the financial system which has actually been triggering me a lot you will realize that human beings um like just create imperfect systems because basically we are units of my units of these systems and if the units are imperfect you can't expect what they come together to form to be perfect and that is why last year i really started fantasizing about hive mind because as long as we are all individuals fine on a higher level we are united by an unconsciousness that makes like why are meets why do certain meets with core in different cultures like the hero meets and all of that so you know we have like something you can call it our ancient knowledge passed on in our dna that is there but still still realistically we are individuals and because we have our different wants and needs and all of that there will always be conflicts of interest and that would never allow the society to flow correctly like flow in harmony like we'll never be in harmony and the only way i thought of that can solve that is by all connecting to a hive mind that like that causes us to come out with a solution that fits everybody but that is pretty like futuristic and for now 
we cannot create a perfect system. The, the third thing is, um, I don't know if you have seen my last video, which is on nihilism. So I do kind of identify as a nihilist, even though I don't like taking on labels because they are limiting. I had a lot of thinking about meaning and it occurred to me that there are things that keep you going, like things that make you stay alive. And if that is not your meaning, what is like you are you get meaning from like i get meaning let me use myself i get meaning from shooting these videos i get meaning from talking to my friends and i get meaning from a lot of other things like appreciating art and all of that so those are my meaning anything that um keeps you going or anything that you value is your meaning so there's no point in searching for one higher cause when in the mundane you have things that keep you alive those are your meaning <laughs> debatable right well i don't know if you think differently comments are always there the fourth thing is that confidence is a virtue it might seem like a no-brainer of course confidence is praise but i noticed that when you look at it properly confidence is actually not that loved People do not love people that are sure of themselves. Like, they think they do, theoretically, but when you scrutinize the way they behave to people that are sure, you realize that um, actually they don't. Like someone like Kanye West. Kanye West is very confident and he has achieved so much success that you would think that people will allow him to be egoistic without, like, because he actually has stuff to back his confidence or his pride or whatever. But people still have a problem with him expressing himself, like expressing his success, being sure of himself, being being proud of his abilities. Like, why do people hate that? And then thinking, like, why are people always trying to get you to be humble and to bring yourself down? Why? Like, if you think I am too high up, why don't you come high instead of trying to bring me down to your level? It just seems very crabby. And I, I i started wondering why do people have that problem and i don't know i have my ideas but i also love to hear from you so i'll just leave that like why do people not like confidence the um fifth thing i learned is that it is okay to be wrong this is just a realization so i have not yet imbibed it but um i i i decided to share it it might seem like I'm being a hypocrite because I am one of those people that hates being wrong. But I'm, I just started realizing that it's okay. And I was trying to think about like where the, um, the insecurity about being wrong came from. And it took me to my childhood where I was always doing well in school. And I normally had really good arguments and the people around me could not counter me. Maybe because of how they weren't like exposed to certain things I was exposed to. So that gave me this um, like anxiety about being wrong and it is not it's, it is not good because when you are afraid of being wrong you don't learn um you don't learn from people that you think that they cannot they are not up to your level but most times like i said everything is neutral and there's always the wisdom in whatever seems like nonsense so yeah that is the fifth thing still going, going to be working on that this 2022 the um, sixth thing is that you don't own anyone. <sighs> yeah, you don't own anyone. Even when you have children or when you have a partner, they are not your property. They are people, they are autonomous, they are individuals. And you should do your best to support them in expressing. Like, it reminds me of my love video. And, and like when you love somebody, it, sometimes you might think that that whole trying to grasp them and restrict them and bend them into what you want them to be is showing love. But it's actually not. It is, it's, 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 it's something we should, we really need to let go of that idea because um, love should be like a gardener taking care of a flower. He's trying to make the flower blossom and be the best version of itself. So that is what we should realize with people so that we can let go of this idea that we need we own them and we need to force them into these boxes we have that we believe are right for them 
because like basically we are projecting our own like needs and insecurity on the other person and when you realize that you just have like a better relationship with people not that i have the best relationship with people but i have been actually making improvement in my relationships and I'm, that's one of the things i'm grateful for the last couple of years in my life then the seventh thing is failure is part of success and <laughs> that one is this youtube journey that's why i left it for last because you're my people and you are like part of this journey of this learning that failure is part of success and it all ties back into like not wanting to be wrong and always doing well when i was growing up so i never really learned how to fail but then when you are taking up something that is actually going to be worthy at the end the thing will be challenging that is because good things take time good things take effort and on that journey to whatever your goal is you are going to fail and when you fail you get back up and you learn unless i don't know i don't know Sha, it's a fine line between realizing when to stop when you can't actually do it but that is not the common that is not the topic it's just to learn i don't know how to really phrase it but the schooling system makes us have a very bad relationship with failure that is not how the real world works the real most people don't get things the first time they try but the more you try the more you try you perfect it practice over time and then you get to the points that you like set for yourself and then you call it success if you're not failing you're probably stagnating you're probably you're probably um in your comfort zone doing what you're already good at so you're not failing and um so i'm learning this i'm learning to be take more risk so that is just what i have to say that is what i learned in 2021 it was it was it was not the best year i would say as i mentioned earlier but it was pretty good and if i want to count my blessings it was really great if you stuck around to this point thank you so much and i hope you also stick around if you're new by subscribing and remember to like this video if you think anybody would benefit from these lessons or it just it just speaks to you or you feel like someone else would count it or whatever like that i am i'm still young there's still a lot to learn and i'll probably unlearn some of these things and relearn because knowledge is like a, a weapon and like when you are done using that particular weapon or tool you drop it and you pick up another tool that will help you in the new phase you are in your journey i'm expecting to continue this youtube um creative expressive experience with all of you honest weirdos <laughs> bye